Today we are looking at the subject mathematics. The definition of mathematics are many. Specifically, mathematics is a science of numbers. Mathematics is a tool used in science and technology. Today's world is digital. And digits help us to craft the infrastructure for the development of technology. Studying digits means you are studying mathematics. We are going to be looking at the subject mathematics as it affects tertiary level. Those who have acquire the rudimentary knowledge in mathematics up to the SS, up to the senior secondary school level or the higher school level as it is referred to in some areas. We require a full concentration to develop your skills and your computational ability to be able to solve some of the problems that will come your way. You need these skills, you need this expertise to face some of the challenges in this world, to transform the world around you. Mathematics is divided into many areas. We are going to look at the syllabus for this program. We shall look at number, number one, number, and uh, numeration. We shall also look at algebra. Trigonometry. We will look at geometry. We will also look at calculus. And of course, we will look at sets. is number and numeration topic number and numeration the content we are looking at is indices and logarithm indices and logarithm one indices a number is said to be in index form if it is written as a raised to power s, the a is referred to as the base. The s is the power. This is a raised to power s. This an index form. There are operational rules guiding the operation of indices. Laws of indices. 
The laws of indices include what? A this far S times A this far Y. This is a multiplication law. And by this law, it translates to become A this far S was Y. Let's take for example, you have 2 raised to the power 3 times 2 raised to the power 4. At this level, it simply means 2 raised to the power 3 plus 4. And that becomes 2 raised to the power 7. You can find the value of 2 raised to the power 7 by multiplying 2 times 2 times 2 in several places. And you have the solution. It can also be left like that. 2 raised to the power 7. You may also have a situation like this. Maybe 2 a raised to the power 3 times 2a this for a 2. Or let's say 3. Let's put here 3. This will be equal to multiplying the coefficient of a cube, which is 2, by the coefficient of a squared, which is 3. Then a raised to the power 3 will multiply a raised to the power 2. It's like we are collecting like terms. This will now become 6 multiplying, you now apply the law of indices of multiplication to this. It become a raised to the power 3 plus 2. And eventually this becomes 6 times a raised to the power 5. Which is 6a raised to the power 5. This is the multiplication rule.